Hello everyone, me from Ford here, and welcome back to another Stanley Cup Playoffs on NHL 23 on EA Sports. This next matchup of the last game won as we got the tough ones to go powerhousing the team right in between in the Western Conference side. We've got Dallas Stars facing against Colorado Avalanche and Denver, Colorado. This is the next part of the game that we're about to be happening for the last one in game one. Now, as we're talking about here, we got our starting matchups in between by the players. Jason Robertson, Joe Pavelski, and Roop Higgs. Other side is Nathan McKinnon, Kale McCarr, and Miko Rantanen. Let's have a look over here by the Dark Stars side, as Jason Robertson has got a snipe on his elite puck settling. He also got a puck on string to keep him right on the target line to go right from here. Then the Big Tipper, which usually comes in handy to try to keep the Big Tippers out of the deflection. This also has to turn out to be a great snipe puck settling, a magnetic and born leader. Boost team energy on goals. On the other side, we have another look on the other range. Nathan McKinnon. He's got an ankle breaker move right on a higher speed on again. This could be the tough one to see how the team does with the goals right around it by the players that they have ever done it before many years ago going for ankle breaking. It's just a hard pick on the screen. But it's not for basketball, but for hockey, however, if you go for high speed for the legs, you have a fast pace to go right from here to go right from the other end. And also, Kale McCarr has an elite edges in a changing direction right from the player in between the inbound. And the other side of it, we have is Miko Rantanen. A tape to tape feed with an elite pass within the vision. And now, let's catch you down over at Ball Arena, where Testitude and Lightbulb stand by. I'll be back with the post-game show to finish it after the final period. Guys, all yours. Enjoy the last game of Game 1 of the postseason. Let's get going. Hello everyone, Test Tube here, along with Lightbulb, and this is about to go down. The Avalanche and Dallas Stars are ready to take on in Ball Arena. Opening face-off for Game 1, and we're about to get started. Both players are set, ready to go on ice. The courtesy lineup is being aired as follows. We have his toes, and it's Kale McCarr right to the right. Then Rob is right outside. Across the other angle is the Conan. And then we have is Nathan McKinnon. Now for McKinnon, he was, McKinnon was able to try to go right from the edges of the point. I have to say with this one here, test tube, because there is one way that they have to go for, and another one for ankle breaking on the motion of a drive has given it a good feed here. They try with a good elite edges to go with the changing direction. Hopefully on that point, they can try to go from here to kick it off again. Kemper is a starting goalie here for the Colorado Avs. On the other side right now, we have this Joe Pavelski. Then we have this Jason Robertson. And it's Hins on the other side of it. Across in the back of the check, we have this Ottinger. Ottinger was able to play with that one with the team on the motion of the drive. He's gotten some uh, very good uh, skills to try to stop the puck from they going inbounding with the defense. Trying to pick up the right around with the attacker, and they have a lot of them to go right bound in between. Hopefully we can try to find out what they'll have. Oh! Tip back in! It's McKinnon! A deflection start for the Cat Avalanche! Wow! That McKinnon was able to try to pick the stick in the bound. What a stop! That was a great play. Avalanche had a great start here, but the first one of one nothing over Dallas Stars. Now back the other way, we have his Miller. Going over again is Segan. Segan firing the puck right down here on the other end. Then it's Rantanen with the puck. Colorado Avalanche back on offense now. Here's Comfort back the other way over to Garrod. Gerard 
over to Johnston. Johnston back to Nito. A lot of great motion. Branson shot. Wrap around the shot. It's Ottinger with a save. You'll get the puck here to hold on with now. As with, we're approaching down to 16.39 to go. Both players are set right now, taking it ready for the faceoff. An early scoring start for Colorado Avalanche to pick up the run. 1 0. Seekin trying to go over right around it. Gerard with the stop. O'Connor, way down deep. Gives it back to Gerard. Gerard trying to scoop it over. Bad pass broken. Johnson will have to regroup here to go back on offense to give it another look. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely kind of like a tricky setup. And whenever you're going for the player, you gotta like keep your eyes on the open. You don't want to miss up with that shot. Johnson back over again. The shot is stopped by Ottinger. Segan right through it. Deflected up into the board. Now back over to New Books. Deep past the helm. With the shot, back over to Myers. Now gives it to Gerard. Back to Hunt. With the pass, shot, Ottinger save. And they will hold the puck here with 14.30 to go. Big range of motion out there. As the Avalanche still have a 1 0 lead over Dallas. Johnson. And now with the win, Lindell. Lindell over to Ben. Kick it away here. Scoop it on the board here as Helm has a puck back. Myers has one. Hunt back outside over right to Mark or McDermott. Back to the offense for the Stars. Stop by Georgiev. Georgiev over it again. Now to Nito. Nito with the look. Trying to help with the fender up here. But it was stopped by Hunkapop. Now it's back over to Johnston. Firing things the puck. Nito can't hold the puck that long. Yandra stopped by Georgiev. Jorge was able to play with the Rangers last season, but now they're calling for the contract here to go for the Avalanche to pick up another run because they are now able to make a new change-offs here with the new players to try to keep the runs off of it. That's because they really have a lot of good strings. They have somebody else to try to pick up the run instead. Nito! Stop save here by Ottinger. McDermott back to McCarr. Gives it to Rantanen. Rantanen trying to scoot over back to Comfer. Back to McCarr. Back to McDermott. McDermott over to McCarr. Shot! Deflected up right toward the back of the net. Now we set it again. McDermott. McCarr shot! Stopped again by Ottinger with a putt. Pad save. Pad save. Good easy call. You're still alive out there. I don't know what to tell you this one here because they're like... They're pulling it back and forth out there. I mean, there's so much else to try to stop the run. They're doing really well, but I might need to keep it up a little bit higher to go with the average on the run. Comper lost the puck. Hits regroups it over DeAngelo. DeLandria in the offense now for the Stars territory. Robertson, glove saved by Georgiev. McKinnon back the other way. Decides to go with a speed. Oh! Wow! That was a big stop by Ottinger. McKinnon. Back pass over the toes. To Lee Conan. And a penalty called out on Dallas. That will be the first one to call for the slash on Robertson. Robertson was able to try to keep the range out of sight. He was able to try to slash it. But that was too late now. He can't go with their flood. With a tough one on the play, Miko Rantanen was having a good speed off to take the tape to tape feed. He can find a man at open advantage and go back with the other, other players that's already had stacked. They will try to help the teams who can go with another tape to tape feed zones for the power plays to keep it up here for tonight. I'll keep an eye on Miko Rantanen if he gets one with the assist. Back to you.
Dr. Rod outside back over the toes. Rodriguez carries offside, and the puck is coming up with the faceoff in a neutral zone. We've passed the midway period. Still a 1-0 game for Colorado. Now to win. Here's Miller. He fires the puck up over the net. Now he will have the puck here. Gives it to Maljin. Maljin right around the man. Comper trying to hold on. Flamed the puck, but it was off again. 8.30 left to play in the first period of the game. Now back in the offense zone. Gives a new look. Shot stopped by Ottinger. Turn on. Fling the puck up to the board and goes back again. That's the third time they were ever going to fling the puck. They have to go with something else. They should go with a, a puck takeaway and they should not be getting it over. They have to find another way to try to stop the defense. Now the play carries in with the save. Just 7.48 to go. A lot of plays in between by the two. The packy passing effectiveness is turning out to be just like that. Now they have it back. They are ready to go. Rodriguez blocked up. Power play comes up empty handed for the Avalanche and now they're back to even strength. They have a good move. Excuse me. They've got a good motion out there. They're trying to keep it right from the deck. There's someone else that they're going to try to like stop the puck here very quickly to go right around it. They got a great set of changes for the, for the Stars to try to stop the run. Lekonen, stop pass broken up. Marchman with the puck. Brantanen, almost would have been loose here. Now McKinnon has the puck. Flings over to Lekonen. Riley goes in the corner now. Gives a diagonal pass to McCarr. Fox uh, trying to stop the run. Trying to pull him back. Out of the out of the loose chain. Fox got stops again. 5.43 left to go in the first period. McCarr flings it. Kicks the puck right over again. Jurat's got a cover now. Cleano with the line they rush. Shots to flick off to the goaltender of Ottinger. Stopping the play run with just 5.09 to remain. They have a tough now to call for, Nathan Mackinnon. He's one of the available players that can definitely break an ankle move with a high speed rating. He has a lot of it now to try to keep him ahead. Jason Robertson is able to call for a snipe goal. Motion on his driving is just a great offense run to pick up a snipe on a set. I'll keep an eye on the two for Robertson and the other hand for McCoy, McKinnon to go with the number of attackers. We'll find out who will keep it in to stay alive. Back to you guys. Pavelski with the puck. Now gives it over to Robertson, over to Heskanen. Pavelski with the puck. Goes back to Robertson outside without being called offside. Back to Colagno. Colorado back in offense zone. Malkin in the corner. Going with the pass, no penalty called on Dallas. Puck loose, Robertson recovers it. Decided to give it up. Oh, good stop on the play. They really gotta go with another look. Different change up, nowhere to go around it. Myers has the puck over to Helm. Helm shot, he risked the rejection out of it again with the stop of Ottinger. Stars back in offense zone. We releases a poke check. Helm back the other way. Pass broken up. Hankapa back over to Pavelski. 2.09 to go. Pavelski regroups it with a shot. Stopped by Georgiev. Lakona back over to Myers. Pavelski with the puck. Havelski rolls it back over to Johnston in the inside. Ben! Stop shot, mate. Now recovered up by McKinnon. D'Angela back to Lindell. 
Johnston, fetch out with the avalanche snow, keep it out of the sight. They really have to show them off who's going to get there first. Just one minute left to play in the first period. Now here's Rodriguez. Give it off to McKinnon. McKinnon, fast break. Stop again by Ottinger. McKinnon, Lindell. Hunt recovers it after another turnover call for Dallas. McDermott, Hunt, McDermott. Back to Rantanen. Shot blocked. Kovaranta with the puck. Stopping the run on Georgiev. And that will end the first period. An excellent deflection in for McKinnon. Great stop on an assistant captain for tonight. A 1 0 goal. We'll be right back with the second period. Second period about to begin. With the start of that one, it was McKinnon has gotten the goal here with the deflection. And with that play and gun bound, guys, there's one way to call for a tricky deflection goal. Now, I have to say about this one, there is, there's got to be another way to go with another a deflection to get the goal in there. Impossible run to try to hit the, the domination of, this, of the goal to try to go with the inbound. They have a lot of them down there on the board, but they cannot be reduced here to try to find out who they are going for. This really has to go with someone else that can try to stop the run and go with the attacker to go with the inbound. Now they have it all down, they are trying to look for another one to go clean. Toes on the outside, shot, and stopped up again by Ottinger. Left Conan right back over to Rodriguez. Shot going to McKinnon. Oh, back. Oh, put back in for the Conan. And he was not seeing what the puck just went right behind the back. It looks like he was poking at it. I think he was poking because of that point. And it has to be a goal right toward in the net. Yeah, see that one down there? That was a poking on the call. And they have a lot of it defense to try to pick up the deck. McKinnon got a second assist here in the game at the extension now with a 2-0 run score. Right now with that one, as Rantanet's got a first goal in the playoffs, they're trying to find another way to try to go back to back floaters. Miller, boy, squeezing puck down in traffic here, Copper outside. Back to Nito. Pulling the bang out of it. Comfort back over to Nito. Pescana with a steal. Marchman with the puck. Try to poke it with a save. Gerard back over to Nito. He fires the puck out. Branton recovers it. Kiss it back over to Newhook. A lot of swing in motion here for the Avalanche. And no penalty called on Dallas. That has to be a clean call. That has to go with the clean, clean call because at this moment, William was not hooking with the stick. He's not holding, he's not tripping, and also he's not he's not definitely pushing him out of the way. All he was down there is just giving a little body tap. That was definitely it when he plays. Gerard stopped by Ottinger. 15.48 to go in the second period. A 2 0 score releases. Players are set, ready to take the face off, puck to go right back to back flows. Johnston wins the wins the face off. Ben's got it now, passing the neutral zone to the up end zone. Passing over to Hankapaz. Oh wow, big save on that one by Georgiev. McCarr. Able to try to squeeze past here, past the toes. Johnston with a steal. Take a poke check, back to Colagno. Avalanche back into the offense zone to pick up another run. Toes back over again. And pass broken up, Colagno tries again. McCarr back to Myers. Myers with the puck, stopped by Ottinger. That holds it up with a save, which is only 14-16 to go. 
with better play in defensive lines. Alexander Gorgiev and uh, on her side, um, Ottinger really got a heavy matches. Trying to pick up the run here, right between the deck. The both zones are impossible. How does it really take it over here with the better plays in offense here? Like, well, well, it might be very uh, hard to try to keep that one in good range. Might have to give that one a good, uh, good harder look on a strike. But that play was just a very hard to mendable night. If they're looking for GR gift, he wants to give that one a good run to try to stop the run. Any advantage? Not at all in front. Stopping by again is GR gift. And you can talk about that one here because you know that Ottinger was able to try to go back with the flow. Not able to make advantage, but it's hard to try to go around it. Oh, went in front and just put up a save here by Ottinger. He was right in front of a goalie. Now back to another face-off coming up here for the Abs and Stars. Ankapa, right toward the corner, right over to Gurinov. Now this goes back over to Lindell. Karata, bang out. Vladimir Gudis with the puck, facing towards the spring. Finding an open room, Karanka stopping again. McDermott has it back out. Gets a mechanic shot stopped by Ottinger. We'll hold the puck here with just under 12 minutes to go in the second period. If you're sticking around here with game two, we got a coming up matchup, so we are about to be seeing the first part of the day in game two. We have is the Avalanche, that will be Avalanche and Stars. That will be happening here with the second game. The first game will happen here will be the will be the Rangers and the Devils here back at Prudential Center for the first game for the Eastern Conference. Then the second game will be the Avalanche and the Stars here at Ball Arena for the second game. Then the third game we will have another lookout range to try to take a deck as the Pacific Team Coast in between by the two of the Knights and Kraken at T-Mobile Arena. And the final game here for day one, we will have another range out to try to stock it out as the Wilds may be playing for the next game. As we have an excellent currency to try to go back to back flows of the Leafs and the Bolts. Oh, they scored again. Now they're on the board, it's Sutter with the goal. Suter got a very good angle out of it. He got it back in there. Thanks to Fosca and Caranta, he's got his first goal in the playoffs. The Stars are on the board right now, during the mid-period in the second. Now here's Miller with the puck. Right over to Fosca. Shot stopped up again by Jurgen. Trying to put a little bang around, just get off of me. Jurgen back over the toes, and the fight being broken out. And it's, he's looking like he was able to go with the comfort out there. He was ready to go, but the other guy didn't seem he well, doesn't want to do anything without him. That's going to be a very tough one to try to fight, fight for the big bound. Granted, stopped by Ottinger. Had to stop the play and whistle, passing the mid-period. Now the play back in offense, ready to take their own time. 2-1 is where we left off. Comfort wins the faceoff. Toes over to McCarr. Find out. And in traffic circle, Robertson gets revenged. Robertson. In corner now. Fighting for the shot. No shot made as it was denied and went wide. Hints back over to Hitchcock. Stopped by Neto. Wow, Neto was able to try to go with a block shot. Hit with the stick. They got it in through. Excellent run for Nito. Able to try to help the defenders out there. They want to go for a different attack. Plays offside, and this one goes back over to Rantanen. Firing the puck around over to Nito. Nito over to McDermott. McDermott over to Hunt. Hunt try to scoop around it over back to McDermott. Flings back over to Rantanen. Back to Comfer, rebounded by Hunt. Shot, locked, in front. Rebound, no, nothing put, put back here. 
And take away again. Here's Nita. Trying to stop the run. But he decides to regroup here with the puck. Now in offense zone. Back to McDermott. McDermott over to Hunt. Back pass. Broke it up. Maldrin recovers it. Back again. Wow. Maldrin still going on. That play was just going to be a tough one. Trying to stick in the fence. Ottinger save as Deandra will carry the puck to Haskinen. The Stars are back on offense to take another hit. The Avs regain your group. Haskinen back the air away. Fling the puck right up to the glass. Gives it back over to Maljan. Maljan's trying to hit the stop. Myers will try to scoop it out. Icing is whistled on Colorado with just only five minutes to go by in the second period. Both players ready to regain for another face-off coming up. Now with the win, put it up for Colorado. Muldrin with the puck. Goes right back around it. The Koenig's got the puck here you know, right in the corner of the zone. Trying to take a shot. And it's stopped again by Ottinger with a save. They're really going for a tough one. The battle is not really in wrestling all the time. Really going to be a very tight battle range. If they're going to try to find open shots out there. The defenders could be on him right away. Rebounded. Fox step back over to Seagan after a save by Ottinger. Pop the pop right back over to Marchman. Seagan. Fighting for the puck rebound, and it's Maljan with the puck. Pull it around the board. Laconian, shot stop by Ottinger. Now it's back over to Gerard. Malkin shot, and it's stopped again by Ottinger. Two times stop. No way to be said going in between the inbound. Very has to be stoppable, like they had never seen it. Marchman stopped up by Georgiev. Now back over again to Maljin. Flings the puck over again. Lacona back over to Myers. Myers shot! Stopped by Ottinger. He has to stop here with just 2.20 to go. It's 2-1 game. Players are ready to take inbound with the faceoff. With the win is Lindell. Linda trying to scoop over to Juranov. Glendening right back in the offense zone, trying to pick up steam. To Linda. Johnson takes a steal. And Rodriguez has the puck. Odd man rush, backhander, scores! That gives him a 3-1 lead over the Stars. And he got to fire up that deep. Pressure down ice, here we come. Excellent motion for Rodriguez, and with the team able to try to deliberate the, the odd man rush, he was able to try to keep the pressure out of here. Avalanche extension comes up with a 3-1 lead over Dallas Stars, and another one goes back over to Glendingdale to pick up the run. Now here's another look for New Look. Passing 80 seconds to play in the second period. Kalino back over to McCarr. Back to toes, and the penalty coming up for Dallas. There will be another slashing call. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't really like that one. That's going to be a very tough one to try to stop the run. Deflect the play, and it will stop the whistle here as the slash is on Glendening. Glendening in the penalty box, able to try to keep the stride on the side. Power play coming up for Colorado Avs. It's 3-1 lead over the Stars. With a win, Haskinen. DeAndre with the puck. Try to go with the poke, Foska. Try to stop the run, double man on him. Rantanen, back the air away it goes. 20 seconds to play. Decided to take a power play goal, but the time is ticking down. They gotta get it quick. Rodriguez, shot! 
locked up in front. Escone. Lacone. Shot. Stopped again. Stopping the period with the, with the power play as it already had the game period expired. Rodriguez with a great goal. Now we got the third period coming up after the break. Stay tuned. The final period about to begin and ready to go. We've seen many plays here for the Avalanche as they have made a great stop here for the offense to pick up a run over the defenders. And now, this all has to turn out to be the last one to get this started here for the first game before the second game. I have to say, it looks like the players are very that tough to try to go from here. The one thing I really like to talk about that one is Rantanen. He's got a great one to try to keep the deck out of him. The moment it was great, but the realizing of this one play was turning out to be just how hard it goes. I mean, when you're looking at the puck out of it, you've got to find one of the man players that will have an open offense to go with the range. You don't want to like try to mess that one up, because if you do, then you got, well, you got to fix it anyway. Here's McCarr back the other way. Decided to do that one again, take number two, and he missed the puck. He's almost ready to go. DeAngelo with the puck. Swinging right toward his side. Back over to Leo Lacone. Lacone right in the corner of the wall. Gives it to Rantanen. Rantanen trying to scoop it around again to Lacone. Shot deflected and it went off of Rodriguez. Pavelski got back over to Foxka. He fires the puck again. McKinnon's got the puck. The Avalanche are back to offensive territory. Shot stopped again by Ottinger. Back to Newbrook. Looking around the man. And it stopped again by Ottinger. Two in a row. 17-16 left to play in the third period. Better play aggressive. And better play at the drive. It's still a 3-1 lead, Colorado. Now put it up and back over to win. Miller with the puck. Back over to Hiscone. Back to Robertson. Odd man to go with the rush. Miller. Stop again by Georgia and stopping the play for just 16.48 to go. Players are set, ready to take the faceoff drop. Now the wing for Hanks is picked up. Stopping the play. Oh boy, that was very close call, but a great save here by Giorgio. Giorgio was very strong out there. Mm -hmm. I didn't have to say a lot to yours, because this moment is going to be turning out to be way big than he has ever done it before. Johnson went outside too soon as a new changeup has been released. Robertson back over to Hanks. Robertson stopped up by Giorgio. Myers has the puck now. Colorado back on the offensive attack. To Johnson. To Gerard. Tied to take it down. Glendening was almost going to be turned out to be a rough on the call. Here's Colagno. Myers with the puck. Just passing 15 minutes to go in the third period. Johnston with the puck. Decided to give it off to Colagno, back to Johnston. Colagno shot, blocked up and Miller with the deflection. Deflecting is very that bad, taken over right, right by anybody else out there. I mean, they're gonna be tough on the high keys in the setup. Score! It's Caravanta. Two goals in the playoffs. You're coming back down by one. Caravanta. I haven't seen what the play was going to go for as Gurinov takes with the assist. He really had a good handoff. With the play in motion for Karaganka, he got a good goal to take it with the, in the playoffs to go right inbound. I'll keep an eye on here for Karaganka if we get a tie game or not. Back to you guys. 
Comfort, try to stop the puck up in the play. Wanton beats up with the with the player. Nito! And the save me by Ottinger. D'Angela, nowhere to go around it. Decide to regroup here for Ranton. The Avs are back in offense zone. Rebounding in front by Hunt. Back to Ranton. Hunt, losing the puck outside of the offensive set. Now bring back to Ranton. Over to Comfort. Oh, too, too close out there. Then he bounced the puck and he knows where he's going to go for. <laughs> Good stop. Good show up out there. Very nice job. Hunt right, back outside. Oh boy, this one's going to be a very tight one on the call to try to stop the run. And Copper stops it back. Now back to Ranton. Hunt back outside. Back to Toes. Toes shot. Can't find anybody out there. Toast recruits the puck over to Comper. Comper around the move. Take a big backhand. Stopped again. Marchman trying to deliver it up again. Seeking in the corner. Clubson's bound. It's Jorgen with the save on the glove. That's going to be very a tough one inbounding. Great show up to make that one a try better. I like that one to keep in even eyes and open look range. Toes recovers it. Shooting it in. Ottinger with the stop. Now it's Lingvis with the puck. We're coming down passing the midway period in the third. It's 3-2 Colorado. Another pass up uh, to McKinnon. McKinnon right over to Toes. Now he's in the corner now. Back to McKinnon. Over to McCarr. And it went badly out of here. Lekunen with a trip in. Rodriguez scores! He got a second goal of the playoffs. The extension is up 4-2. Thanks to Lekunen, he got it back. That tip in with the foot was turning out to be just like that. He was right in front of it. Blinding the goaltender, he got it all down. Colorado Avalanche have an extension now, back up to two, a 4-2 game in the third. Myers, shot went wide, decided to go deep, but he didn't have the right moment. Uh, that's pretty tough out there, kind of need to try to keep that one focused. Squishing the board right across it. Monta Johnston. Linda with the puck back over to Lindvest. He dish off to Robertson. Robertson finding it over. Malgin back with the puck. He goes back over to Myers. Myers flies the puck out to Balgin. Out of reach in play. In corner to Ron. Malgin would have tried to stop the play. Myers would try to try to slam it out. Robertson back it over to Pavelski. Honkapa, Dallas back in the offense zone. Picked up the poke play, and Newbook recovers the puck. Decided where to go. Now back to Johnson. Kantapa over to Hintz. Hintz in the middle. Waits and looks over to Honkapa. Lindell back in the offense zone to go back with another stride. Shot! Blocked in front by Gerard and Malgin. Oh boy, the free time stop for Georgiev. Georgiev is really that strong. Trying to go with a better liftoff. Gerard, with a round man. No room for that. And it turned over to be another Stars with the takeaway. Gerard, Gerard back the other way. Gives it to Colando. Push it out and stick it out. Linda with the puck. Trying to go right from that side from right to left. With a shot. Glove saved by Georgiev. Gives it back over to Hunt. 
and went to the end. He's all alone! Stop by Ottinger! Ottinger was able to try to go with the stop on Rantanen. Can't mess with me, head. Neto. It's Glendingdale. Glendingding with the with the rebound. And Hunt back with it now. Caranta to Lindale. Oh, almost would have been a penalty call on Dallas. But no penalty has given up for Dallas to go with the third. That's going to be a very big problem because it, if it really happens again, he was going to try to stick it. And this one would have been almost called an interference. That may not be enough to go right from a player to go with a smackdown. It may be too hard to try to keep it up alive again and again. Oh, Gio get up with the save. Back to Luke Conan. To Rodriguez. Side to give it off. The corner shot. Back to Rodriguez. Goes it over. Hit the puck. Makara went out. Boxka. Good stop here by Rodriguez. The corner in. Up at the buck. Stop again by Ottinger. Rebound! And now the penalty is on Colorado. That will be a slash call on Comper. Comper's really not really well being pressed out there because now his time is over. Power play coming up here for Dallas as we have Silver Spoon. Nathan McKinnon is receiving his only with the goal to try to go up with the ankle breaking. He can go with the higher speed on the on a set. As for Jason Jace, Robertson, he has relieved himself to go with another snipe on goal. With his timing ability, he gives it all where he has gotten a better lookout range to hit it from the site. I'll keep an eye on those two in between by the two range of, of Mackinnon and, of course, Robertson. Back to you guys. Robertson right now back in the offense zone. Stop that, Yuri Orgiev. And Toes regroups. Myers back him with the shot and goes out of play to clear the ice. Pavelski with the puck. Time is ticking down in the third period. They're now bringing a man advantage on. Of course they do. Without the power play, they're almost gone to be expired. Just one minute left to play. O'Connor didn't see one. He wanted to go for it. Shot stopped by Georgiev. Decided to give it O'Connor. And Sutter has it back. Robertson with the puck. With Ben, shot, blocked, and McKinnon, McKinnon shot, shot was tipped wide. Sutter trying to go back over to Robertson, 30 seconds to go in the third period. Now brings back to Pavelski, and a good stop by Georgiev here. They're all good, making contact out. O'Connor, that ends the game. And the third period goes with the end as he's out of the penalty box. Right now that Connor got a good goal. He got a good eyes on the contact. And it come up short-handed for the for the D Dallas Stars power play goal without the trouble needed. Now JT Comper is out of the penalty box. And they are going to bring out with a win for the Avalanche. There you have it. The win comes in for Colorado. 6-2 is your final score for the first game of the playoffs. A tremendous night. What a great night here for, for Colorado with a win. And for Dallas, turned out to be just how hard they get. We all salute fans out there. What a play it turned out, we love it too. So with that one, Test 2 is finished right now. Along with Light Bolt and Silver Spoon. This has been a presentation here for the Stanley Cup Playoffs here on EA Sports. Keep tuning in for more as we will have tomorrow's game of Game 2 coming up 
for the next one to be on here for tonight for next matchups in different locations. Right now, the same location will be the same, but the team will be a little bit different to play in between. Now it's time to close this out for three star players of the game. And there's a lot of shots out there with the action trackers right down there. That's a lot of them to go right from here. And now we're ready to find out the three star players of the game. Now we go right over to Meepone to close the game. Thanks for joining us and have a good night in Colorado. Test Hoop, thank you very much for your time. As for this moment, turn to be an absolute win. Smackdown in the ability. I gotta say this one, this one's turning out to be very big by the two. I don't know what to tell you this one here, but if you are playing Avalanche or Dallas Stars, I mean, you may not have a figure if you're going to try to keep it hard on the attack. I mean, this is going to be very tough and challenging if you're going to keep this one up. Anyway, <laughs> just uh, don't worry about me. I, I always never try to, like, go serious, but I always, like, make fun of people. Now, it's time for your three-star players of the game. As we all go down to this. The third star goes out to Nathan McKinnon. A goal is an, an assist. A great deflection in there, right in between, up on the board. And that was a McKinnon start run. The second star goes to Alexander Georgiev. 33 saves. And first star, Evan Rodriguez. Two goals and assists. That turned out to be just like he wanted to go for Rodriguez to tip it in. That is a chip in success to go with Rodriguez. First games are completed. The second game, we will have another sneak look for the first game to second game in day one, as you will have another look in the range by the two of the Eastern Conference and Western Conference. We had got the Stars and the Avalanche in the second game, but the first game, rematch again for the Devils and the Rangers at Prudential Center. Yeah, it's going to be an error rough to rough ones tonight. Don't get me wrong with that one. And the other game, we have another good look. I have to say this one, there's going to be a, um, a high runs to low runs. Pacific Coast teams of the Vegas Knights and Seattle Kraken at T-Mobile Arena. And finally, the Eastern Conference of this game, Bolts and Leafs. Back at Scotty at Bank Arena. So I hope you all enjoyed this one. And we all love it too with a hockey game for everyone. Peace out everyone for a while as the Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports style of NHL 23. This is me phone 4 and I'd like to appreciate you all to go ahead and subscribe to Son of Beast. Make sure you do that now. If you don't, somebody will. And this will mean this game will end now. Nah, sorry. I, I don't know what I would say about you. If you want to like try to close the game, I mean, don't try to leave. Try to finish watching it. If it gets a little too long, come back later and then rewatch it again where you left off. That'll be a good idea. Anyway, time to close the video. And thanks for joining with us for the first game. Have a great night, everyone, and see you next time. If you don't. Somebody will.